Even animals saw the virtue of the Prophet Sallallahu And it's amazing that animals saw it and Muslims have a problem seeing it. There's once upon, upon occasion, one of the Sahabi radiallahu they went past the tree and they saw a nest and they, in the nest there was a chick and he took the chick and the mother began to fly around his head and he captured the mother and he came into the court of the Prophet sallallahu with the chick and the mother and it was in his sleeve. And the Prophet sallallahu asked him, what do you have in your sleeve? And he took it out and he opened his hand. What ha happens when you open your hands? When you have a captured bird, it flies away. But the bird didn't fly away. Why? Because it understood that it was in a court where justice was imminent. And it complained to the Prophet sallallahu and the Prophet ﷺ told the Sahabi, go and place the bird from where you got it from. Go and place the chick from where you got it from. When the Prophet ﷺ performed his hajj, he sacrificed 63 camels. And this was a subtle indication to the lifespan of the Prophet ﷺ. And the narrator mentions that the camels would be bought five after five. And he says, I swear by Allah, it was as though those camels were competing with each other to be sacrificed on the hands of the Prophet ﷺ. They understood the virtues of the Prophet ﷺ. You could easily say, well, they were, you know, they were, they could see, they could hear. The truth is that even inanimate objects saw his virtue. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, came to Medina, he would give his Jummah Khutbah leaning upon a tree trunk. And then a lady came to him and she said, I have a slave who's a very good carpenter. If you wish, I will ask him to make a pulpit for you. And he agreed. And, the, and he came the next week and he ascended the pulpit. And this narration is Tawatur, meaning that many Sahaba were sitting there. And each one narrates it in his own words. And they say, when he ascended the pulpit, and that the tree trunk, some narration mentioned that it began to shake, like it was about to explode. Other narration mentioned it was like a she camel whose child had been dragged away from it. Others mentioned it was like a small child who had lost his parents. Others mentioned that it was like cried and it screamed, like a mother, like a she camel when she's giving birth. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, descended from the pulpit and he embraced it and the sobbing slowly stopped. And then it gave it an opportunity and a choice to be a tree in Jannah from which the awliya and the solaha eat from its fruits. And they chose to be a tree in Jannah. And Hassan Basri rahimahullah says, he says, if this is the love that a tree had for the Prophet, peace be upon him, then what should be the love that the believers have for the Prophet sallallahu what is the love that we have? And this is why when the Prophet peace be upon him passed away, Umar radiallahu anhu would often cry. He would cry. And he said, why shouldn't I cry? Didn't a tree cry over the departure of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Why shouldn't I cry as a believer? And this is why those who loved him, really, they brought love to a different dimension.